Ladies and gentlemen, the Mill Run Theater is proud to present the Johnny Cash Show. Sixty, sixty stood on the ground 
weighed 235 pounds. Saw that giant of a man brought down to his knees by love. He was a kind of a man that would gamble on love. Look you in the eye and never back up. Saw him crying like a little whip up because of love. You can't see it with your eyes, hold it in your hand. But like the wind that covers our land, strong enough to rule the heart of any man, this thing called love. It can lift you up, never let you down, take your world and turn it all around. Ever since time, nothing's ever been found stronger than love. Thank you. 
Thank you, Thank you. 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 I don't know, some of you may have season tickets and didn't know who you were going to get tonight, but this is it. Oh, we did! I don't, uh... Hey, hey. But I don't, uh, tell jokes and dance or wear my pants too tight like a lot of entertainers, but I don't oh, love songs and I don't spit on the people on the front row. <laughs>
Bob Lewin on the trumpet. This song was on the soundtrack of the movie, and it kind of tells the story of old Jesse Howell, the man I played, as well as me too. I love to sing spiritual songs. I'm just an old chunk of cold, Lord, but I'm going to keep working on it. Someday! Say 
Too much. 
She's got a lot to say. I won't get everything done I can before she comes out. <laughs> Well, I wish I had known when you were a little younger. Around me, you might have learned a thing or two. If I had known you longer, you might be a little stronger. Maybe you chew straighter than you do. Maybe you chew straighter than you do. When he walked into the pool room, that he didn't fit. And his handmade boots and custom suit and the pearl handled shoe and stick. Well, tonight there'd be a showdown that everyone would know who shoots the meanest game around about <laughs> Billy Joe. Now, Billy Joe was edgy and about to lose his cool. But the Baron's hands were steady as the two began to do yeah, he was like a general on a battlefield of the slate. And he would say to Billy Joe, each time he sunk the eight, he'd say, Well, I wish I had a you when you were a little younger. Around me you might have learned a thing or two. If I had known you longer, you might be a little stronger. Maybe you'd shoot straighter than you do. Maybe you'd shoot straighter than you do. Now Billy Joe was busted, but he hadn't felt the sting. And from the far end of the table, he tossed his mother's wedding ring. And he said, you want my money, but it ain't gonna do the trick. I'll bet this ring on one more game against your hands. The Baron's eyes got foggy as the ring rolled on the bell. Then he almost doubled over like he was hit below the belt. Twenty years ago, it was the ring his wife had worn. And he didn't know before he left that a son was soon be born. Up the then a warm hand touched his shoulder and it chilled him to the bone. When he turned and saw the woman who had loved him before. Hey! Hey! The game was never finished. The eight ball never fell. The baron calmly picked it up and put it on a shelf. Then he placed the ring in the hands and held his long ago. And he tossed that fancy shooting stick to his son, Billy Joe. And he said, I wish I had known you when you were a little younger. Round me, I might have learned a thing or two. If I had known you longer, you might be a little stronger. Maybe you choose greater than you.
was with, I was talking to you, I was talking about, Marty was with the late Lester Black for the last eight years of his career. Marty's 23, so he started professionally when he was nine. I was leader of the band when he was 13. Well, Jack Hill and Bob Luner out here in Sunday. Oh, yes. I want to ask Cousin Jerry, Cousin Jerry, to join me in a song. This is Jerry Hensley, ladies and gentlemen. Hey! John Mark's third cousin. We got some cowboys in the audience. We want to do a song for all the cowboys. And this is real cowboy song. <laughs> this is written by my son in law, Rodney Crow, who is married to Roseanne. Okay? And Rodney wrote this song. I'm proud of a couple of sons in law. Old Nick Little married to Carlene Carter. And uh, he's doing art, she's doing great. We're proud of her. And uh, Nick Lowe, Rodney Brown, who had a couple of sons in law that were worth killing. <laughs> I'm proud of them. I'd like to say that Cindy Cash will be out a little bit later on, my 22 year old daughter. And um, Cindy and Marty Stewart have just announced their engagement. <laughs> Thank you. 
back where I've been because it helps me keep track of where I'm going. And it ain't bad to know where you are along the way. Well, I woke up Sunday morning. Very next 
day when I checked in on my big lunch box and helped my friend, I left that day with a lunch box full of gear. I never considered myself a thief, but GM would miss just one little piece, especially if I struck it out over several years. Well, the first day I got me a fuel pump, the next day I got me an engine and a trunk, and I got me a transmission, and all the chrome. The little things I could get in my big lunch box, like nuts and bolts, small bull shocks, and big stuff I stuck out in my buddy's mobile. Well, now, up to now, the plan went all right till we tried to put it all together one night, and that's when I noticed that something was definitely wrong. The transmission was a 53, and the loader turned out to be a 73, and when we tried to put in the bolts, all the holes were gone. So we drilled it out so we did what we did with a little bit of help from an eight after kit. Had that engine running just like a song. The headlights was another side. We had two on the left and one on the right. One to pull out the switch, all three of them come on. Now the back end looked kind of funny too, but we put it together as we got through. Well that's when I noticed that we only had one tail pin. Well, about that time, my wife walked out, and I could see in her eyes that she had a doubt. But I said, come here, honey, I'm going to show you my car and take your boy a spin. Come here, honey. Watch out. What's that front end there? I'll, come here. I'll show you this. See, I got one door on this side. You can ride up here with me. This will come around. Oh, look out. Watch it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I got two doors on this side. <laughs> it is, nigga. Oh, baby. Thank you. 
be this close to folks and really get to see you all. I, most of all, I see is blur in my eyes, but it's just nice to really look at you. I enjoy being here. I enjoy singing with John. He's, he's really handy. <laughs> We've been singing together almost 20 years, John and I have. And it's like he's telling you, I was in the business for a long time. But then we've been married almost 14. That's hard to believe. The time's just flying. It's going boogity, boogity, boogity. And I, I, I stop and think about it. I, I, I tell you, when I married him, I had two daughters, you see. And he had four daughters, and I gave him six daughters. Then we had a little boy, and I gave him seven. Good tired. <laughs> Well, the family that I came from might have started this crazy news we call country and western music, the Carter family. And I look back over some of the classic songs. Thank you very much. Some of you may never have heard of them. I couldn't care less. I'm going to sing you one or two of their hey! songs. <laughs> this one. This one, I guess, has been sung as much as anything that they ever wrote down through the years, but uh, uh, I'll just do it for you my way, and we'll sing it one more time for Mom, Oh, she's going 
chance to look at everybody tonight. <laughs> Maybe I could give you my interpretation how I think some of the girls from around this part of the country uh, kind of look to me as they try to come to the Johnny Cash show. Let's say there's a girl from uh -oh. Gary, Indiana who's come uh -huh. to the show. No way, she doesn't hey! come to Gary. <laughs> well, this one got lost or something. Yeah. Because she was trying to get to the to the box office. Let's say she has to cross the mud hole. This is a girl from Gary trying her best to get to the Johnny Cash show. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry to come back to y'all, but it's the only thing I've got on this side while I'm going that way. Hey! Here's a Gary girl. <laughs> <laughs> Virginia. And um, uh, Mama taught me to play this auto harp when I was a little girl. 
And the first thing I ever played on the radio, because we used to have radio before we had TV, and y'all don't remember, <laughs> was way out from the old Texas border stations. And I remember being scared to death when I was just a tiny thing, and Mama put me on the radio the first time, and the announcer said, Oh, well, here's little Junie Carter, this is station, that key are the Akuna, how are we to make a call? And this is little Junie Carter and the San Antonio Rose, and let me pray if it's good. <laughs>
do a real nice uh, love song for this group of people right here. It's not that I favor them over the rest of you, but they're going to have a good time. Thank you. 
of his guts that the dirty man's dog is named in soon. Well, I knew that snake was long and sweet down the worn out picture that my mother had. Knew that scar on his cheek and his evil eye. He was big and dense and gray and old, and I looked at him on the blood red and I said, My name is Sue!
birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Mickey Kane. Happy birthday to you.
watch this dance. She was my biggest kid in 1958. And she was... Went off to college, and this is her first weekend back with us on the road. She just with us this weekend and goes back to doing what she wants to do. She loves the music business like her sisters do. And if she wants to, I think she can make it with a little encouragement for you. Yeah, okay, you can make it.
Casey Jones was her oldest name, and on the sixteenth we were born to her name.